Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm about to watch Joe Musgrove's No Hitter and break it down. But if you wanna see that breakdown, you're gonna to have to hit that subscribe button right now because this video is for subscribers only. So I'll pause the video, give you a second to do that. First No Hitter of the year, here we go. I haven't seen it yet, haven't watched any of it. I haven't actually seen a whole lot of Musgrove pitching, so I don't know a whole lot about his stuff or how he likes the sequence or anything like that. So this will be a learning experience for me. And I'm just gonna give you my commentary on what I see as I'm watching it. And if I feel like drawing on the screen or stopping the video or whatever to point some stuff out, we can do it. But uh, here we go, first pitch. 95 down middle, curveball in. All right, I think that's curveball. It said, let's go back here a little bit. What's this pitch tagged at? 95 fastball, curveball, 82. Okay, little high angle here in Texas, kind of straight on so you can see lateral movement really well, but kind of a high angle, so it's hard to see depth on the ball, which is a little bit tough, but anyway. All right, fastball down middle, curveball in. Looks like a little bit of a sweepy slider. Let's see what we got here. Kind of coming out. Starting off that way and continuing that way. It looks like quite a bit of sweep on it. So, not much reaction from the hitter right here. Kind of a big miss. All right, getting a feel for what he's got. Another sweeper. Is that a cutter? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it looks like a kind of a hard cutter. Generally, I generally don't like that sequence as much. You throw kind of, you know, a sweeper that comes off over here, and then you throw another sweeper that misses a little bit less, and then you throw a harder pitch that moves less in the zone. Generally not a fan of that myself, but obviously it works out pretty well here. So it looks like we're working about fastball, like 94, 95. We got a cutter in that 90-ish, 91 range. I've seen a curveball 82 and a slider, uh, kind of 84, 85. Bat eight. All right. I'm assuming he's got a change up in there. It's pretty good repertoire, actually. Let's see if what we got here. Cutter down. Okay. Miss with a curveball there. Ah, yeah. That's a good pitch right there. Kind of backdoor slider. You can see this pitch starts. I mean, this pitch is starting like on this line, which is clearly off the plate. And just kind of comes back middle. So if you look at that, if you look at that uh, sequence here, you have this curve ball that kind of starts off and goes more down. Doesn't really come back at all. You can see how, like how much that holds its line. It's pretty straight down. So he sees that look. He sees this line out here kind of on this, on this batter's box line right there. Doesn't come back and you follow it up with a pitch that starts out right on that same line and then sweeps back into the zone. So interesting little sequence there. All right, I'm learning. Fastball down middle to Gallo. So Gallo is generally, if we get his little strike zone up here better, a little easier to see, Gallo is generally gonna hit like this area really well. So I'd consider that first pitch kind of a Kind of got away with one. Love that pitch right there. Change up. Let's see what Gallo's thinking here. I got a little like hands up action. So this must have some run to it. Kind of starts off. I think the cutter right before it, you start something that's kind of here that runs hard and kind of continues this way. Then you start something a little bit inside it might look like it's gonna go at him and it comes back this way a little bit. And I think you can kind of see that with Gallo's reaction here. The hands, the hands are kind of going up. So he just didn't see this pitch. I'm, this, this area to Gallo is dangerous to me. I, usually like top shelf, you're pretty good. And if you stay kind of away in this area, anywhere in that yellow box, you're pretty good. But I don't like the bottom, but uh, clearly gets away with it here. So what do we got next? I like that pitch a lot. If you're crossing the barrel down here, it's 
okay, and that's what that was. So by crossing the barrel, when the, the bat path is gonna be like this from a lefty, so if the pitch movement is crossing it and going this direction, it can be okay. Um, and you can kind of see that here. You can see that the direction the pitch is moving is kind of like down this way and the barrel path is right there. So, okay. Uh, you know, like I said though, that, that spot's kind of dangerous if you get it in the zone. This is a really well executed pitch. Um, clearly he didn't see it too well. Oh, oh, okay. Yep, so let's add a change up in there, 88. So we're fastball, we got cutter, curveball, slider, change. So the first thing I'm noticing is 95 down to 82. So we got about a 13 mile an hour spread uh, between the curveball and the fastball. So not the most, but in between there, you go from 94, 95 to 90, 91 to 88 to 85 to 82. So about every three miles an hour, you got a different pitch. And uh, the fastball is gonna move kind of this way a little bit. You got the cutter that's gonna be pretty straight but move to the left a little bit. The curveball is gonna be down this direction. The slider is gonna be more this direction and the changeup is gonna be kind of down in this direction. So you can see a lot of these pitches going kind of different directions. So this is a really good, really good setup, really good mix right here from a, from a pitch perspective. So a lot of weapons to go to. And because Gallo is generally hot in this area, anything that starts there and then dips down, either a change up, the cutter that gets in here, the curveball or the slider that bounce, generally speaking, get a lot of chase in the dirt on those because he's kind of keyholing in on this area. So, all right, I got a good sense of what he's got now. Now we can just kind of watch the game. Cutter in, yep, gets in on the handle. Ooh, all right. This is a tough play, this is a really tough play. So you're in a shift, and we can see this kind of play out. Let's clear the screen here. Uh, I'll leave it up there for now. If we look at when this ball's hit, let's see what we got here. If you notice, the first baseman is kind of like caught in between. Do I go get the ball, or do I try to get over here to first base? So by the time he makes that decision, he's now scrambling, running with his back, to the ball. So he has to get to the base first, stop, then turn around before the fielder can even throw the ball to first base. So that's a difficult play. Musgrove's getting over, but he's looking here. So you can see the ball's already in the air. It can be delivered uh, well before the first baseman. I think it's pro far in this game. I could be wrong. Can even get uh, to first base. So this is probably a hit if Musgrove's not covering. Now this throw has to lead him right to the base. So this is a very, of the, of the covering first base moves that a pitcher has to do, this is by far the most difficult one. This kind of in-between throw here, where you're trying to watch the ball and catch it, but you don't know exactly where the bag's at. This guy's bearing down on you. Tough play here and just executed perfectly. He just runs directly to the base, kind of steps on it, catches it. If this is a little bit of a closer play, he's in trouble here, obviously, you know, getting run over. Um, but, you know, fortunately that didn't happen. So good play right there. Good awareness being in the shift, getting over to first base. 94 away, got a little lean out of the header. Breaking ball. All right, so fastball in, weak ground ball over there. I think breaking ball away here. Yeah, yeah. Slider. So that slider set up by the first pitch. First pitch fastball, you know, paints this area, kind of starts off this way and has this little run back, as you can see right here on the fastball note that I have. Uh, and then this slider starts inside of that and then breaks off. Uh, so you get one that's like a ball but comes back and one that looks like a strike and, and breaks out. So pretty good, pretty good sequence right there and gets a bad swing. Cutter in, great. Ooh, didn't get that call on the backdoor curveball. Dangerous. I don't like that. I don't like that pitch. Uh, personally, curveball to change up, I don't like that combo. I'll throw it, but not my favorite. I also don't have a good a change up as Musgrove does, but I think he kind of gets away with one here. Caught it off the end of the bat just a little bit. What do we got going on here at the plate? Who's this? Trevino? That's kind of a weird setup. Have you ever seen this? 
I don't know if I've ever seen this or not, like bat down in this area as he's in his delivery, just kind of odd. That's the first thing that caught my eye. What does he even count? One, one. I gotta rewatch this. I was looking at the bat too much. Let's see what we got. All right, fastball up, auto take. Wanted it, perfectly placed cutter. Sweepy slider, love that combo. Executed, I think you throw it again. Right, came back, curveball. Not bad, not bad. I think after the, you know, didn't, wanted to swing at this and held off and then swung at one out here, didn't look very good. I think a slider, another slider off the plate there works. This one here uh, gets the freeze, so worked out just fine. Cut her off, cut her off, fastball coming back, yep. Cutter. Oh, I went to the slower slider. Yeah. Pretty good sequence there. I think the fastball, O2, or the 2 0 fastball, you get the cutter off, cutter off. He throws something that comes back the other way, gets a freeze, creates a little bit of deception out there. Then you go with the slower slider, more movement. Pretty good sequence. Good way to get back in the count there after 2 0. So backdoor cutter, tried the backdoor curveball 1 1. Backdoor curveball. This pitch blows him up. Wanted to swing, nowhere close. To me, I think anything in here running towards him on this pitch is an out. Let's see what we get. Yeah, slider, oh, it's foul ball, okay. Cutter in. Now, I like this ball if it gets a little off the plate. This one's a little bit, you can see this kind of gets on the barrel uh, just because it's in the zone. It looks like they're trying to go kind of like backdoor with it. So, makes sense. I still think after the swing, after the missed cutter in here that kind of blew him up, I think anything in this zone probably gets a swing. But, get a ground ball into the shift. Hit pretty hard, just right out of guy. So, that's good. Oh, collision. Sweepy slider, I think there's room for a fastball away here. Went with the cutter away. Cutter away again. I think it's fastball in here. Try the front hip cutter there. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting pitch. 3-1 though. Did he walk this guy? Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's one of the ones he gets away with in this in this game. Anytime you throw a no-hitter, you gotta get some luck. You gotta get a ball that goes right to someone. 3-1, fastball, just kind of dead middle. He's right on it. Just happens to hit it on the ground. Really nice play here by the shortstop. The ball smoked and gets the out. Curve ball, ball, middle cutter, dangerous. Can work off it though. Comes back with a slower slider and then, oh, he went change up there. All right, got a cutter, slider going the other way, change up going the other way. Dangerous speed, but creating some deception there. Curve ball freeze. Yep, that makes total sense there. Good sequence. Oh, hit by pitch. Is that the only... I wonder if this is the only base runner. I wonder if he walks someone later or not. Just a yanked... A yanked cutter in there that hits him. All right, so first time... First time being in the stretch, we'll see if it affects his command at all. Uh, sometimes when you get in the fourth or fifth and you haven't thrown out of the stretch at all yet, that game, it can, it can play with you. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. You just dotted a backdoor curveball. If you dot a backdoor curveball uh, early on, you feel really good about about the rest of that at bat because everything's open. It's just a freeze pitch. He doesn't. The, the hitter doesn't know exactly where you're going. You're basically starting the at bat over, uh, except you're 0 one. So, really good pitch if you can land it. Cutter in. Ooh, yikes! That was a strike, huh? Slider, starts off the plate, sweeps back. Not where he was trying to go, obviously. Catcher's expecting to block that, but interesting. Okay, go back foot slider again here. Tried the change up, and then the fastball in, yeah. Oh, foul ball, okay. Yikes, yikes, got away with that one. All right, fastball in. Right off the handle, right there, 
but pretty on time. Jams him a little bit. He's a little bit late on this. And then we come back with a middle, middle change up. And you can see he's right, I mean, he just smokes this ball right on the barrel. Boom. This ball's lasered. Good defensive positioning. I consider that a mistake. I think he gets away with it. Um, I think I think a cutter in in the dead zone there. You get this swing on a fastball. This is, this is how I'm reading it. You get this swing on a fastball, pretty on it. I think anything that starts there and sweeps this way is an out strikeout. But it is 2-2, so I, I didn't know, I didn't realize it was 2-2. So throwing one in here is dangerous because you can go 3-2. I do think he just gets away with this pitch. I'm not, I don't hate the change up here. I just like it being more down and away. Oh, it looks like a cutter actually. E, yeah. I don't know. Backdoor cutter? I'm not sure. Not me. Not for me. Gets the first pitch breaking ball down. Pop up. Now it might look to some people like he got away with this one because it's middle. But if you read the hitter's reaction on the first one, like leaning into it, he kind of buckles. There's a little bit of a buckle there. He's not seeing that pitch very well at all. And you can see the same thing play out on this one. There's a little bit of like a, oh, it's a breaking ball. And he kind of like hunches down. You can see this little like sinking into it. And then just kind of this weak, like off balance swing. So I think reading the hitter's reaction, I don't know the scouting report on Solak. So maybe he just struggles with breaking balls or something. But I think that's the right pitch in that situation. Gets the pop up, and now we're is that first out of the fifth? All right, cut her off. Breaking ball, cut her down in dangerous spot. Got a lot of room in here, but if you catch this kind of like down and in area in the zone in that middle speed uh, to Guzman, it's dangerous. So we get the foul ball. I gotta imagine this is gonna be a change up or something going away. Oh, I tried the elevated fastball. Not a bad pitch there. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. Great way to use a, what you would consider a miss. So, looks like they're trying to go down and away here. I don't know if he's trying to throw to the glove or not. Maybe he's trying to go up and away and he's throwing to the catcher's mask. Very hard to tell. But you get this fastball that misses up. You get a little bit of buy-in out of the hitter. You can see this. He's like, he's on go and then he just kind of like shuts it down. Like, nope, don't want to swing at that. So then you just start one. Hard to see from this angle, but from the mound, if you throw a pitch that's like up here and you get a take, and this like this being the mound and this being the plate over here, if you start something that's, if the next pitch starts above it, you're probably gonna get the same take and then you can break that down into the zone. And that's exactly what, what happens here. You get this reaction on the fastball up and then you throw this high curve ball and he's just like, yep, shuts down early. You can see him just kind of like, nope, that's a ball, just shuts down and then just falls right in the zone. So great way to use, if it was a miss on the pitch before, great way to use that. Good pitch right there. Have not thrown a lot of fastballs to this point and definitely haven't gone in on righties very much with the fastball. So starts this off, just rolls a, rolls a fastball in on the hands and gets a weak ground out. Now those are huge and no hitters. One pitch outs are huge and no hitters because it keeps the pitch count down. So it allows you the time to get deeper into the innings to complete it. Uh, you need some quick outs, uh, usually if you're gonna throw a no-hitter. This is the breaking ball. Great breaking ball right there. Looks like they're trying to go in. Looks like a cutter. Maybe a sinker, I'm not sure what that pitch was. Kind of spraying the ball around a little bit here. Coming out of the, uh, now it's in the sixth inning. First, uh, first guy of the sixth inning, by this time your body's a little bit fatigued, you're a little bit tired. Not that you're feeling it, but just not quite as fresh as the, as the start and it takes you a little bit of time to get loose. So a lot of times, first guy of the inning is kind of when you're gonna get someone in the later innings of a no-hitter. Um, so not surprised to see him miss a couple spots here, but sweepy slider there. Kind of, this is bad, just kind of spraying stuff. Pulled that one. Great pitch. Preying on the aggressiveness of a, of a young hitter. You see a little, little excitement here out of Musgrove. A little glove pat. Got him. Yep. Cool. He's starting to feel it. Great pitch right there. Dotted change up. Another, another one pitch out helps keep the pitch count down, especially after a long at bat. Six or seven pitches to start the inning. 
Good adjustment here in this inning too, going in on some pitches. These last couple hitters, fastballs in. You can see the swings they're laid on them. They're not expecting them, so good adjustment there. Great pitch, throw it again. Good layoff, throw it again. Ah. <laughs> okay. So you get this swing on a breaking ball. You can see this thing starts middle. So this is starting like it's down the middle and you get this swing on a pitch that's nowhere close. So you come back and you throw the slider that starts middle and runs off. And you can see him, he's buying in and he just barely lays off of this pitch that breaks out of the zone. So he's slowed down enough where he's not like jumping at a fastball and he's like looking off the plate and he's gonna, you know, he's able to take the slider just barely. So now, I mean, to me, any fastball over here is just an automatic take. They choose to go in with it, doesn't end up in, it just ends up dead middle, but that's exactly what you're gonna get is he expects this ball that starts middle to either break this way or to break this way because those are the last two pitches he's seen. And then he gets something that's hard that starts in that same plane and just stays straight and it's just too late. So great, great sequence right there, love that. Aggressive, don't need to throw this guy a strike this at bat after that. Curveball down, fantastic follow-up pitch, and then the swing and miss. Great sequence right there, preying on some aggressiveness, dotted up. Impressive too, because that was the first guy out for the seventh, so where are we at here? 82 pitches? All right, he's in good shape. He's in good shape. Misfire. Dangerous. He's playing with fire there to Gallo all day. Down and in, you can see he's right on it. A little bit over the top of it, so the breaking ball definitely beats him. It is crossing the barrel again, like we talked about earlier, so it is breaking towards him. And it's the slower one. It's the curve ball and it has a little bit more movement, so not terrible, especially in a 1-0 count. Uh, no way Gallo's kind of sitting on an off-speed pitch there, but hit it hard right out of guy. Just don't like that down and in area to Gallo, but... Oh, it doesn't get it. But he gets that one, all right. Down and in, slider, you get the chase here? Yeah, there it is. Yep, so after this one, after this swing, this swing didn't look great to me on this pitch, out in front of it, right off the cap. I think you just move this in here a little bit more and you get the swing. I think they were trying to go there, and then they got it right there, and you get that bad swing. Good sequence. A lot of really good sequences so far. Slider, cutter off. Slider again. Front hipped him. In the zone. Get it down. Oh, front hipped him again. Got away with one there. So that at bat. Started off great. Let's go back. Let's look at that because there's some mistakes, some interesting stuff that happened there. So we get 2 0. You get this swing. To me, this is someone who's just sold out fastball. He's going to swing nowhere close to that. I completely agree with the decision here to stick with soft. This pitch starts in, clearly misses. You know, he's looking to go down here. Pitch starts in. He's almost like leaning in, trying to get hit, it looks like just takes it. Now this pitch is great. This pitch works a lot, but it doesn't work the second time usually. So he gets that one. Now we're trying to go down and away over here and we execute it, but it's a little bit up. I think if this is, if this pitch is kind of down there, probably a swing and miss. So we come back the next one. We're trying to get it more down and we cast it. He recognizes this and he hits it pretty well, pretty well pulls it super foul not the greatest swing but kind of dangerous the second time you go in there you can see he doesn't freeze on it he actually gets off a pretty good swing and hits it um, and then you come back and you get the uh, chase pitch here but you leave it up and gives him a chance to get the barrel on it but again the sweepy slider out there at that speed uh, pretty safe so love that love that start Fastball up and in, or uh, cutter up and in. Something chasing his hands right there. We talked last at bat about there being a lot of open space in here. 
Uh, and this is exactly where it goes. It just gets that cutter kind of up and in. You can see you just can't, can't get the barrel to it. And you just get that kind of jam shot right at the first baseman. Two outs in the eighth. Great pitch right there. Stay with it. Oh, okay, so here's that, here's that same thing. Dotted down here, didn't swing here. You got the freeze in here. I think you have chase. I think this is all chase down here. I would avoid cutter away, but let's see what he goes with. Yep, great pitch, throw it again. Oh, he went cutter, see? See, that's why I would avoid the cutter away. I think you throw some slow ones, you slow them down, you slow them down, you slow them down, you throw them some stuff out here. Then you throw them something that moves a little bit less and it stays in the zone and it's kind of right into the position that you're, or into the speed range that you're pulling his bat speed to. Uh, I'm not surprised that this ball got, got hit pretty hard. Whack. Good defensive positioning. A little bit of luck goes into every no-hitter, so got some balls hit right at people. I think I personally would have stuck with the slider there, but can't argue it. Full of adrenaline at this point, I'm sure. Bottom nine. Yeah. <laughs> to be in this position. I've gotten through seven so far in my career. I've never gotten through, never gotten more than, more than seven, so hopefully at some point I'll get this feeling. But uh, 104 pitches, so I sent him out. Slider down in, does not like, this guy does not like the ball breaking towards him. I've seen that, got a, got a punch out in here, took a bad swing at that, took another bad swing, missed a bat on, on that pitch. That one I think gave him a little bit of help. It was kind of a little bit further away from him and had more depth. This was the curve ball. And you can see this is like right into the swing, kind of catches it off the end, a little out in front, but it gives him a chance. Whereas if you see the hands deploy, the hands are kind of you know, out this way. So there's a ton of space right in here. That's why he doesn't like the ball close to him, it looks like. But another line drive right at someone, good defensive positioning. Backdoor cutter strike. Ooh, throw that slider again. Got away with one backdoor there. Another one. <laughs> Chooses to, to tag the runner out here. I would too. If I have the ball, I'm just like not even taking a chance that I like throw it away or something like that. Just tag the guy out. Pretty cool. Good pitch. Yeah, kind of up and away sweepy slider. And the celebration. <laughs> it kind of, the video kind of cuts off here, but Caratini's already out there at the mound. Yeah, Profar, it looks like Profar over there at first, having this celebration. Did Caratini catch Mills' no-hitter last year in Chicago? I wonder if he caught that. That might be two no-hitters for him. I don't remember who caught that game. But pretty cool, pretty cool. Musgrove's got good stuff. That's the first time I've really watched a game of his. Uh, I like the cutter-slider combination. I think the change-up off the cutter is good. Threw very few fastballs, very few fastballs. So he relied on the cutter quite a bit but he made good use of the fastballs when he did throw it. I like the adjustment in the middle innings going in on some righties, got some really quick outs uh, and threw him off the scent a little bit. Got away with a couple pitches in my opinion, uh, that down and in area to Gallo. Um, you know, maybe his stuff plays different than mine though. So I can't, I'm not critiquing him by any means. It's just different, you know, cause I have my stuff and I know how it works and he obviously knows how his stuff works too, but pretty cool. Um, <laughs> one hit by pitch on a first pitch, he ain't cutter from a perfect game. That's crazy. So, pretty cool, 111 pitches, super efficient. Uh, really cool thing, first, first Padre no-hitter, first one in franchise history. So, that's what I saw, that's, it's always cool, first no-hitter of the year, hopefully we get to see some more this year and break those down, but uh, Joe Musgrove, no-hitter. And we get, we get to play the Padres here soon, so it'll be kinda cool to see. I think he'll probably end up pitching against us because we have like seven games against him out of nine, seven out of nine games or something like that. So, it will be interesting to see what the report is from my hitters. Um, what the report is on him going into the game and what they say about his stuff. But for now, that's what I got for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.